Okay, I'm coming up to my vehicle. I'm looking under it. I'm looking to see if it's it leaning. There's no foot, puddles, or drips underneath my truck. I'm going to come on up here. Now I'm going to go ahead and talk about my lights. Here's my low beam. Here's my high beam. They're clear in color. They're not cracked or broken. And they work properly. Right here on the side, I got my directional lights. My turn signals and my mercy flashers. They're amber in color. They're clean. Not cracked or broken. They're secure and they operate properly. Up here, I got my clearance lights on top. They're amber in color. They're clean, not cracked or broken, and they also work properly. Okay, while I'm over here on this side, I got a run light on the side here. It's, it's amber in color, ain't cracked or broken. It's clean, secure, and it operates properly. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and open my hood. Now I'm going to come back to this side. I'm going to talk about my fender mirrors. They're secured to the side of the truck on the body. They're not loose. They're scared and tight. And they're clean, not cracked or broken, and they're adjusted properly as well, so I can see down there. Now I'm going to come around here and go to the other side of my truck. I'm going to go ahead and open the hood on this side. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to talk about my body on here. I'm going to raise my hood maybe on this one. Kind of hit it from the side. side. broken, it's fiberglass, there's no cracks in it, no obstruction of my view. Now watch your head and come around here with me. I'm going to start back here in the back, okay, this is my coolant. It's secure right here with nuts and bolts. The hoses and clamps and fittings are secure tight, they do not leak, they're not worn, torn, or frayed. I don't have no bare wires. My fittings are secure and tight. And I got a sight glass right here, and I can sell that I got adequate level. And on top, my lid seals intact. It's clean, not cracked or broken. Now I'm going to come around here and get all my hoses and clamps everywhere. Right here, my clamps are secure and tight, not worn, torn, or frayed. On my hoses, no signs of leaks. Here on these, it's the turbo, same way. I make sure it's secure and tight, no loose missing bolts. And uh, no signs of leaks on them as well. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about my other hoses and clamps. Okay, right now, right here, I got a belt-driven water pump. Okay, right here, no loose or missing bolts. It's secure and tight. My hoses and clamps, some fittings are secure and tight. They do not leak on my hoses. And it's belt-driven, so I'm checking my belt. It's not worn, torn, or frayed, and no more than a half to three-quarter play on that belt. Now, if you will come to the other side with me, I'll go ahead and watch your head. Okay, I'm coming over here. Right here, I got my windshield solvent. It's secure with the brackets, no loose missing bolts. The wires secure and tight. The hoses, they're not worn, torn, or frayed, and they do not leak. It's got adequate level, and the lid's secure and tight on top. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit my alternator right here. Okay, my alternator is belt driven. No more than half to three quarter play, just like that other one over there. Not worn, torn, or frayed. My alternator is belt driven right here. No loose or missing bolts. It's secure and tight. Okay, I don't have no bare or loose or frayed wires. They're secure and tight. They're not taped. Now I'm going to go ahead and talk about right here. I got my pair. Uh, Power steering reservoir. It's got an adequate level, secure and tight. As you can see, it's in between the hot and cold on this. It's got an adequate level. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and talk about my oil. I pull my dipstick, wipe it off, put it back in, make sure it's between the add and full when I pull it back out. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my, and if I had to add, I'd add right here. Now I'm going to go back to my power steering reservoir. My clamp's secure and tight. My hoses, clamps, secure. Okay, over here on this other side on my other hose on in. 
It's not worn, torn, and frayed, and it's secure and tight, and it does not leak. I'm going to follow this down right here, and it's going to go right down here to my gear-driven power steering pump. It ain't cracked or broken. Does not leak. It's secure and tight with the fittings. And then right there next to it there, I've got a gear-driven air compressor. The fittings are secure and tight. Hoses, not bare, not torn. It's secure, no loose missing bolts, and it does not leak. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and talk about my steering linkage. I ain't cracked or broken, no excessive movement. And then I got a, I got a U-joint. It's not worn, torn, or cracked. It's properly greased on both ends. Now I'm going to come down here to my steering box. No loose missing bolts. It's secure and tight. Hoses and clamps do not leak or fittings and it's properly greased. Now I'm gonna go over here and talk about my pitman arm. No loose missing bolts, secure and tight, it ain't cracked, no uh, weld repairs. And then there's my drag link. It's not loose or missing, it's properly greased. I got a crown nut and cutter pin on each end of my drag links. That's all my steering components. Now I'm gonna to go to my suspension here. Okay, this is my suspension right here. No listen missing bolts. Okay, there's my, it ain't cracked or broken. And right here, my leaf spring with the rubber bushing inside here. It's not shifted, cracked, or missing. Now I'm going to go ahead to my U-bolts. They're secure around my leaf springs. They're not loose or missing, cracked or broken. And they're secure and tight. Right next to it there, I got a shock. Okay. No loose missing bolts on it, and it broken and does not leak. And then in the back, I got another leaf spring hanger with a rubber bushing with my leaf springs in the back. Not loose and missing. Okay, that's all my leaf, my suspension. Now I'm going to go ahead and talk about my service line. It supplies air. It supplies air to my brake chamber. My brake chamber, not worn, torn, or frayed. It's secure with the fittings, and they do not leak. They supply air to my brake chamber with the clamp. Secure and tight around it. it. ain't bent, broken, no hose, and it does not leak. My push rod, when released, no more than one inch of travel on it. It ain't bent or broken either. My slack adjuster is properly greased. The pins are in place, and it ain't broken either. Now I'm going inside. My brake lining, not worn dangerously thin. No contaminants. And no less than a quarter inch on it. Then my drum. Not cracked, broken, no hose, and no contaminants as well. Now I'm going to come out here. I'm going to even wear on my tire. I got 430 seconds on that depth. I got 100 pounds of pressure water. It was recommended by the manufacturer, and I checked it with the tire gauge. Then I come to the side. No bulges, cracks, or dry rots. Okay, I'm going to my rim. No cracks, no weld prayers, no rust trails. Now I got a... I got a valve stem here. It ain't broken, loose, missing, does not leak, and it's got a DOT approved metal cap. My lug nuts are not loose or missing, no radiant cracks or distortion, and no rust trails, and they're secure and tight. My hub seal, I got adequate level, and it does not leak. Okay, let's stop that there.